Hello, and welcome to my Python Programming for Beginners course. In this video, we're going to make a start on actually writing some Python code by first learning what a variable and a data type is. So, let's start with variables. The easiest way to explain a variable is by looking at algebra and mathematics. So I'm going to write out a basic math algebra question here. So, so let's say the variable x equals 6, and then the question is what does 2 times x equal? So, as we stated above, x is equal to 6. So what we then need to do is change this to 2 times 6, and then that equals 12. So basically, a variable holds a value, and you can use this variable to access the value that is inside it. So obviously in maths, you're going to be working with numbers, but in programming, there are many more types of values, data types they can work with. So let's switch over to some actual Python code where we will look at uh, some different data types. But before we do that, Let's make a folder where we're going to be writing our code. So I'll name this Python Programming for Beginners. So if we installed VS Code the way that I showed you to, you'll be able to right click in here and do Open with Code. If you get this message, just tick Trust the Authors and Yes, Trust Author. So we're going to create a new folder in here, which is going to be the video that we're doing now. So variables and data types. Then inside this folder, right click new file and we'll just do the same thing variables and data types dot py dot py is the file extension for python so inside here we now have the python file so if we were to do that same algebra question we had before we can just simply do x equals six and now in python we have a variable named x which has the value of six if we wanted to actually do that maths equation we had before we can first do this print that we looked at in the previous video which displays what's inside these parentheses to the console. So what we could do is print, then two asterisks, which is for multiplication, x. And then we can press F5 to run it, bring a debugger Python file there, and let's see what happens. As you can see at the bottom, it printed out 12 as expected. So in programming in Python, this isn't known as a number. Well, it is, but it's known as a different type of number called an integer. An integer is a number that doesn't have any decimal places, so a whole number. So if we were to change this 6 to 6.5, this is now known as a floating point number or just a float. The way we can see what type of data type it is, we can do inside these print statements. Let's go down below here, print type, then inside this, do 6 and then what we can do below that 6.5 then if we run that we'll see it's of class int and then class float you don't need to worry about what classes are we'll go to, through that in a later video so these are the two main number data types there's also a data type for text which is known as a string so the way that you write a string is, say we'll do text equals, and then the way you add a string to this, see either by using single quotes and typing in here, this is a string, or you could also replace this, this with double quotes. Both of those work, but you can't mix and match. This doesn't work, you have to do one or the other. So if we have that, we can then print text, and then we'll also do below that print type text and then run that you see now this is a string and it's of class str which is a short for string now there's one other data type which I'll show you which is known as a boolean or in other words it's just a true or false data type something I should have explained is that variable names don't have to be like x y z in maths you can name them near enough whatever you want although there are some reserved names which cannot be used but we can get to that later. So in this case, text is a perfectly fine variable name. So I've used that to store this string in it. So to show you a Boolean, we can do, let's see, the sky is blue equals true. So to do Boolean, it's capital T then R-U-E or capital F-A-L-S-E. So the sky is blue, that is true. So we can print that out. Then we can also do print type and then that there which when we run it yep true and then it's class ball so what we'll do now is create a little program using what we have learned here so 
in the folder you created earlier. We're going to create a new file and we're going to name it myself.py. So what we're going to do is create variables for name. So my name equals Josh. I'm going to put age. My age is 24. And then is male equals true. So I've got three variables using the three data types that we've looked at. So let's do some print statements in here. So print, hi, my name is, and then if we want to have it display the name in here, we can't actually do it like this because these are two separate values. So with strings, what you need to do is combine them together because you can't pass values like this. So what we can do is separate these two by a plus. Python knows that this means Okay, we have this string and then this string, combine them together into one. So that's that for the name. Let's do print my age is age. And then we can do another print. I am a male. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do plus is male. So let's run it and see how that goes. Okay. So what we've seen here is an error. So the error is saying can only concatenate string, not int to string. So let's break that down a bit. So we've got this string right here. When you combine strings together, that is known as concatenation. So this plus is saying, okay, we are trying to concatenate this, val this value to this string. But as we know, age is an int. So what that means is if we want to combine the value of the int to the string, we first need to turn the age itself into a string. So the way we can do that is by writing in front of the variable str and then putting age in parentheses. So we are now converting this int into a string. And let's see if that now allows us to run it. Same thing again. We are trying to concatenate a string with a boolean. So we now need to convert that boolean to a string. So same thing again, str, and then parentheses. Save. Now let's run it. And it's now worked. Although we could have done a little bit better with the formatting here. So let's just add a space to the end here. Print. Oh, run it again. There you go. Hi, my name is Josh. My age is 24. I am a male, and that's true. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos that are added to this Python Programming for Beginners course.